All right, we're gonna do another EV charging test. Had a lot of people saying that I should be able to charge my car without a battery. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna test it out. So we got the 5,000 watt grow watt inverter. We got about 5,600 watts of solar panels that's sitting on the ground. So hopefully we'll be definitely able to get over 4,000 watts. And the car only needs, I think, about 36 or 3,800 watts to charge. But I just think it's too much of a startup without a battery for this grow watt to handle, that initial surge. But we're gonna go ahead and plug up the solar panels and see what we got and try it out. All right, just plugged up the solar. It's probably too bright out here to see the screen. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip the button on. I don't think you can see it, but it is putting out uh, power. So the plug should definitely have power on it. So we're gonna go ahead just gonna plug it up and see what we get. Let's see what happens. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna be too big of a surge for this to handle. You hear the inverter kick up and it kicked out. As you can see, house power kicked out to the plug. So there's no power going to the plug. So it didn't work. And we should definitely have enough watts to run it right now. But what I'll do is take this and hook it up to a different inverter, this array. I hook it up to my inverter that has the battery on it. You can see exactly what this array is making. And then if it's not making the 3600, we can wait until a little later on in the day and maybe it'll be making the right uh, watts to charge this car. And we'll try it again. All right, as you can see, that one's pulling in. I just plugged it up to this other inverter in here that's hooked to my batteries, to my regular system, just to see how much it's really pulling in. And it's pulling in 4,200 watts right now. My other rays are pulling in 55 and 57. So right now, it's good sun. It's not the same angle as those, of course, but 4,200 should be enough to charge that car. It's only like 3,600 uh, watts with that charger. But at initial surge, it kicks it out. And without a battery, it's not working for me. So everybody that thought it would work without a battery, I can't get it to work. But you do hook one battery up, hey, bam, you will have a, a charger that'll be standalone on its own as long as it's sunny outside. So basically with this setup of, what is this, 18 panels just laying on the ground basically, propped up a little bit and should be about 5,600 watts, you know, in full sun at the right angle, which is not gonna be right now, but it's pulling in 4,200. And that car charger is about 3,600 watts. It's not able to charge it. It kicks out immediately because of the initial surge when it kicks on. It probably takes a little longer for the uh, solar power to actually come in to the inverter than the power that's trying to go out. And it didn't work. All right, so what do you guys think? If it was a, just a little smaller load, do you think it would work? You think it's just an initial surge like I think? Hey, let me know down in the comments below. You know, I know it'll work, of course, with one battery. You know, it wouldn't have a problem at all charging this car. But that initial surge, just not working. Hey, if you like this kind of video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Got any comments, let me know what you got. And thanks for watching.